All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. And now, for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, he's loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 206 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, presenting the challenger, the Cobra. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 257 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only step back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Big punch land. Ooh. He's able to slip the left there. Oh, tags him with the left. So the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. 
good jab. And they settle. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off yeah. the center line. He was landing one before, now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe him? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his track. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, strong punch there by Fury. DC, his hands look good, a lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Misses with the left hook. Jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Right hook to the head block. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, nice. Nice. Big punch man over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big head kick! There's no give on that leg kick. And they separate. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Effective strike there by Fury. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Punch coming, it's blocked. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Fury. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Ooh. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Unable to connect with the right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! oh! He's on the his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has to corner hurt very badly again. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right hand upstairs. What a tricky head kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Try to establish that jab. No Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You gotta think at some point the opposition is gonna lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Nice punch there. One, two there. Oh, 
continuing to work the body to great effect. You got to flip his hips into that kick. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. He engages in a single collar tie here. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Big kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Great punch. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. You are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, <laughs> don't you? You love that jab. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge... Oh! Oh! Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Gypsy King. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making people going over to the title the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Nice strike. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Now connects with the right. Effective jab there by Fury. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Swing and a miss by Tyson Fury. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Lands flush with that right hand. Nice one, two there. Missed with that attempt. And there comes the separation now. Oh, wicked nice leg. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Won't finish his fight. And now he's got the tie clinch. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Here we
we go, third round of this championship fight. Massive head kick. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Straight punch land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Beautiful body just land right under the elbow. Slips to avoid the right. Miss with that jab attempt there. All right, single collar time now. Nice shot inside by the champion. Takedown defense holds up. Switching stances here. Good stick. Powerful leg kick lands. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. How about that shin? Head off the center line, slips the punch. They heard him in the last round. Same exact one. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Just a slip there. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Straight to the body. Tyson Kill. Can't take many of those. You better check. Engage in a single collar tie. A swing and a miss. Oh, straight to the body by the gypsy. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big body kick land. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Muscle. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, you gotta think he's gonna enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a lot of significant strikes, and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. To go home and admire your work, it doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to ah. right now and firing up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one who caused all the action. Oh, big elbow. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Slip there to avoid the punch by Tyson Fury. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ten seconds. Oh, 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 oh
bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Beautiful strike. Trying to kick the leg out. And he caught the kick. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Trying to hammer that lead leg. There. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh! He blocked the punch. Beautiful punch. Man, look at his torso. That just can't feel good. Look at the size. <laughs> This fight's gonna be over this year. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up, he went high with his he thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Those punches to the body are really Looks starting like to be oh. He needs to start looking at the bears now because he's got him hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. And now he lands a combination. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, collar tie. Oh, effective strike there by Tyson Fury. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Big and kick. Right hook coming, it's blocked. Goes to the body there. Right hand on point. Continues with the leg kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Just over two minutes to go. Nice punch lands over the top. Keep it busy here in the clinch. Liver kick. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Furious has got full mount now. Jumping in to try to get the finish. And really starting to make these shots count. Come on, let's go, do something. Back to the feet. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage could be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Ooh, big shot land.
beautiful body kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Nice. You are battering that dude. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control the fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Beautiful body kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Here we go, fifth and final round. Effective punch there by Fury. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Wow! Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow! of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. And back to his feet. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Slips. Circling to his right. the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Abe Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, five seconds of round number five. He played the winner by knockout and See, you know what it's like to be the UFC heavyweight champion. It's not the easiest belt to defend. Kind of made it look easy to me. I mean, that's why the belt changes and changes so fast. These things change so quick at heavyweight. But with this gentleman, with this guy, you know that he has.